Hey everyone, Thornton here. You might have noticed this year we've had a lot of surprising games just come out of nowhere and absolutely break records from the finals to Power World. Now there's a new game, Helldivers 2, that just released on PlayStation. And well, PlayStation is now taking their shot at it as that game is now breaking records as well. We're gonna go over why this seems to be a continuing trend with the last three big releases in like a month. And also, how good is Helldivers and should you guys give it a shot? But without further ado, let's jump into today's topic. But for those of you who don't know, Helldivers 2 is the sequel to the original Helldivers divers if you've never played it and recently it's making a ton of noise in the gaming industry with its release on PlayStation 5 and PC now there has been some really big issues with the initial launch of the game like server issues and a reward system glitch and when we're talking about server issues let's be honest here a lot of these games that are blowing out player records like Pal world is having the same issues despite all this though the game is having a huge amount of success it's surpassed the sales estimates and it's become PlayStation's biggest steam launch ever which is once again just like what is going on with steam right now so let's go why Helldivers 2 quickly garnered so much attention upon its release. And we can actually look to the CEO of Arrowhead, the game's developer, when he announced that the sales figures of around 1 million units went far beyond what they initially had planned. Along with that, not only did they sell a lot of the game, but they also got a ton of positive reviews and social media buzz, which probably only helped prompt the game selling even more. Despite that though, the game had immediate challenges, particularly in the form of matchmaking issues, which is always a problem in a live service game, which this is. Along with that, there's a ton of network instability now obviously they weren't planning on having this many people as the sales numbers were far surpassed and the servers just simply caught on fire despite the setbacks though the team at arrowhead demonstrated a ton of hot fixes showing their resilience to address the issues so overall even though there was some problems they finally got it right on track and it probably has a very bright future because the game's success on steam where it has become a top selling game further solidified its position as a breakout hit for this year however it's right up there with the finals and power world it gets kind of interesting because finals came out out in the winter season and started breaking player count records on Steam and started competing with Counter-Strike and then quickly fell off in January losing about two-thirds of its player base. Then Pal World came out right around that time which took up a lot of the finals player base and Pal World absolutely went super mega viral with selling over 19 million copies breaking every single kind of record on Steam and just being an absolute smash out hit. But now at the same time Pal World suffering the same fate as the finals has lost two-thirds of its player base. Coincidentally Helldivers 2 just released and now it is breaking steam chart records and is a smash hit on playstation as well well pal worlds once again has lost two-thirds and the finals is still waiting for season two to drop to regain its player base so what does that exactly mean in my personal opinion i think these three are all fantastic games and i've enjoyed playing them individually but what i think it says about the consumers or at least you and me as people who enjoy video games is that we are so desperate for something new to play it has been so stagnant for so long we've seen fortnite and apex legends and call of duty and halo falling off and those have been the main staples of live service or FPS kind of style games at least from AAA publishers and maybe it's that we're just tired of AAA studios giving us these games which is why Pal Worlds and the final success is so nice to see along with Arrowhead breaking onto the scene as well maybe the era of the big gaming publishers stuffing microtransactions down our face is at an end where a game like Pal World has no microtransactions yet whatsoever and the finals is actually at least somewhat servicely priced considering it's a free-to-play game right now now what the gaming community I feel like wants is new content to play, new gameplay mechanics, something innovative and fresh. One of the reasons Apex Legends had so much success when it launched in 2019 is it introduced new mechanics like the respawn and battle royale or the ping system or so much more. And these new titles coming out onto the scene are providing that, but it's hard for them to sustain that because we are living in the TikTok age where people watch a 30 second clip and then move on to the next thing. So it's really gonna be up to these live service studios to continue to push out new content. Otherwise, we're gonna continue to see Steam records broken, but other games lose two-thirds of their player base very quickly. And I will say it's been really nice to see Helldivers 2 and Arrowhead CEO Johan Pilstadt, which I probably mispronounced, actively engaging with the community through social media platforms like Twitter and Steam. Once again, you don't see this with big studios and Power World has done this and Embark Studios with the finals was also fantastic in this. So the transparency between all these smaller studios and willingness to communicate with players is helping to foster a sense of trust and understanding within the community. And with the rapid rise and subsequent decline in player counts of other titles like Power 
world and finals it's gonna serve as a reminder for the unpredictable nature of player engagement i know this sounds like a bunch of gobbledygook but it really is true and i do hope we continue to see a bunch of games like this come out like helldivers 2 power world and the finals and make these triple a studios that are shoving microtransactions down our throat rethink their strategy going forward with their video games comment down below what are your guys' thoughts on helldivers 2 do you think that players are just really wanting a new game to play and that is why so many games are popping off or do you think that there is another underlying reason also don't forget to check out these channels right here where i cover information on finals power world halo infinite call of duty whatever you guys need on video games i got you covered and until next time thanks for stopping by i'll see you in the next video